Why is it that women feel the need to ruin everything they touch? It's a simple question. Everything they come into contact with, it's like they immediately get into parasite mode and start to destroy it. And in this case, I'm talking about the school system. Now, the purpose of this video is to inject a new idea about education into the minds of men who are interested in ending the misandry at all costs. Gender segregated schools is what I propose. I call for the complete separation of males and females in the secondary education system to which we will devote an exactly equal amount of taxpayer dollars. Now to be realistic, this will most likely not happen as the feminists would go nuts after hearing that, but hypothetically speaking, let's explore what would happen or what would be the result of the adoption of it. Now for the past two semesters in school, I've noticed more and more females in my chemistry and math classes and this semester was the first time that I counted an equal number of men and women in my chem class. So the general behavior of the females throughout the semester were as follows. Every week, we'd have to turn in a lab report, and it was up to each individual student to figure out exactly what the lab report was asking and how to use our lecture notes and whatever else we needed to get it done. So what you saw happen, almost without exception, is that the men got to work on the lab within the next day or two, and they would sit there and do the work and learn. That's right, I said learn. Now our labs would be due every Thursday before we started next week's labs. So every Wednesday, without fail, almost every single girl in the class would be tracking down their respective manginas to waive the false prospect of the remote possibility that she might actually like said mangina in order to get them to explain bit by bit, piece by piece, everything she had to do, how to write it down, and then they would just end up writing it down for her anyway when she was still too incompetent and lazy to do it for herself. And this happened without fail every single week. Now there were two or three of us, myself included, that refused to help any women at all. But most of the men carried the women through the course and practically did all the work for them. And this is the pseudo-education that many of these women who are graduating into the math and sciences used to proclaim as evidence of their independence. And then you couple this with affirmative action for women and it becomes apparent real fast that women will employ their sex as a means of obtaining degrees that they simply are not qualified for and have not earned. And this is why I call for gender segregation in universities. Now, you have feminists taking every opportunity to claim that women are surpassing men in education and women now hold the majority of degrees, so women shouldn't need us incompetent men to hold them back. Let's segregate the school systems. Now, what would happen if we had equally funded male-only and female-only universities in the West? Well, what you would see happen within a span of five years or so is that the female-only schools would start to inevitably gravitate towards the humanities, and after maybe a decade or so, you would see a complete lack of any engineers, scientists, or doctors, or pretty much any fields that make civilization run, and you would see the male-only schools producing the next generation of scientific intelligentsia. You would see the male-only schools flourishing and the female-only schools stagnate. And the reason for this is because ever since women have been allowed to enter the school systems of the West, they've done what they do best. They've become parasitic off of men and expected us to do all the heavy lifting for them. And I, for one, am sick of these useless leeches that think they're entitled to not having to put the work in like the rest of us. Do your work. We are sick of carrying you for once in your life. Earn what you want, you useless, incompetent miscreants. Men are not there to educate you. You should educate yourself. Now with that said, I don't believe this will ever happen, and this is why I'm proposing that men start to wage war on the education system. And by that, I mean clandestine recognizance of the math and science curricula. And what I mean by that is that we need to start secretly recording with laptop cameras and other recording devices video lectures of every class of every math and science curricula available in our universities and then start adapting these lectures to our own curricula. That's right, in order to undermine the feminist universities we need to start stealing their curricula with the use of recording technology and we need to send out men that are willing to fight the, for the gender war and, and the betterment of men into the women's studies programs and record and post the misandry that's being indoctrinated into the youth. We must declare war on the learning centers of the West, and we must do it relentlessly. And we have to obtain all their useful knowledge and expose their misandry by the use of recording technology. It's just that simple. And once we've obtained these curricula in math and science, we need to make them available to men and men only. To avoid the legal ramifications, we should never post the actual video that we've taken from these universities, but recreate them lecture for lecture and make them available to men, not women, but men. And this is just one of the many ways that we can undermine government control over knowledge and education. And these are things that I, as a man, am interested in. 
I mean, we can't just sit here and wait for the collapse. We have to help bring it about. We have to give the feminists exactly what they wanted. The collapse of Western society and a Western education system that's so indoctrinated with feminist leeches needs to be further starved by men so that it's forced to either burn the leeches and their humanities off its body or face exsanguination. And I want to be clear on what the litmus test for valuable information and curricula actually is. If the only type of job you can find after completing an education in your area of study is the reteaching of that area of study, then it is educationally useless and non-functional. So that means English, humanities, ethnic studies, American and world history, and of course, women's studies. Shakespeare will never put a roof over my head, neither will the memorization of any culture or country's history. If people see African American or European or American history as something of importance, then it's up to them to learn and teach it to their people and the next generation of their people. The transmission of culture is the job of the people of these cultures, not of any kind of efficient and functioning education system. Women's studies is perhaps the most useless field of study they ever created, as it perpetuates female entitlement and the unrestrained leeching and parasitism that feminism promotes. I'm gonna be posting more and more videos uh, with the free time that I have now that finals are over to lay out a roadmap of how we can undermine Western society and feminism. And that's all I'm really interested in. I'm not interested in, in, in making homosexuals feel comfortable in, in, in a men's movement that has no teeth. And, and I'm not, and I'm not interested in, and I'm not interested in brokering a deal with feminists. I'm interested in the destruction of a misandric, racist, and immoral society that needs to fall. That's it. So everybody, good night. God bless.